Hi everyone, welcome back. We're looking at the Agile Manifesto and Mindset, basically where it all began. In 2001, a group of individuals representing the most widely used lightweight software development methodologies agreed on a common set of values and principles which later became known as the Agile Manifesto. The Agile Manifesto contains four statements of values, and this is where it all began. You'll see that there's many methodologies or many sort of practices that come out of Agile that you'll learn about soon, but they all stem from these uh, core principles and these core values that came about in 2001. The four Agile values are, we value individuals and interactions. And we do that more than processes and tools. So while processes and tools are important, we value individuals and interactions um, more than processes and tools. And you'll see that in the practices of Agile, where we have daily stand-ups, for example, and we ha we're really interacting to remove blockers on a daily basis, rather than just sort of letting them simmer. So this is where we're interacting. And we've got the whole team approach, where everyone who's needed to be in a project is actually within that team. You don't have to go externally or you know find them in other departments they're all within the one team nice and easy usually in the one place so you can talk to them quite quickly and immediately next we prefer working software over comprehensive documentation so instead of writing about it or you know doing more more uh, you know training or that sort of thing or using excessive documentation uh, what we prefer is just working software and releasing that working software on a regular basis using uh, using the incremental approach something that the customer can see feel and touch so that they know and we know whether the whether we're all on the right track according to what they actually wanted next we prefer customer collaboration over contract negotiation. And what that means is we're actually responding to customer requirements and changing requirements as it goes along much more willingly and much easier because we're using iterations where we uh, and increments where we can deliver something to and showcase to a something or do a review. So that's our customer. We're collaborating with the customer to make sure that what we're delivering is what they want. And you'll learn more about that um, as well in the future in the Agile practices, but we prefer that over negotiating the contract. So we don't lock a customer into, you know, you must do it this way, you must do it that way, we can only do it one way. We're actually happy to, uh, to change and to evolve as the product is developed. Then we respond to change and we respond to change over following a plan. And that means your usual waterfall approach or your linear approach is where you have all of your scope uh, sort of developed up front so you get the customer requirements and then you develop something you know over a long period of time can be months can be years and then you deliver right at the end to the customer and it's only then that you find out whether they're happy or sad with what they've actually received however when we're using the agile approach we're responding to change and we're getting the product into the customer's hands early so that they can really check whether it's what they wanted and whether they described accurately what they wanted as well and we do that by iterating usually every two to four weeks and delivering something as an increment usually every two to four weeks so the customer can see for themselves whether everything is going as they had wanted. So the Agile Manifesto states that although the concepts on the right, these do have value, certainly they're valuable things, the, the concepts on the left have greater value when it comes to Agile delivery.